Here, this question is uh, linear and uh, quadratic in denominator. So whenever we have linear by quadratic, we should write this linear function, which is x plus two, is as a time derivative of the function in the denominator, the quadratic function in the denominator, which is uh, x squared minus one. And what is the derivative of x squared minus one? That is two x a time 2x plus b. And uh, this means uh, we can write x plus 2 as 2ax plus b. Well, this means we can equate the coefficient of x and constant terms. So we get this implies 2a is equal to 1 or a is 1 over 2. If a is one over two and the constant term also, you see the constant term is two here and the constant term is b in the right hand side. So we can say b is equal to two. That means, this means our x plus two, which is in the numerator can be written as one by two times, one by two times two x plus b b means 2 yes 1 by 2 time 2x plus 2 so that's what we are going to do with the numerator of this integral and how is that going to help you integrate you will see in place of x plus 2 we are writing half time 2x plus 2 so this integral will become half time 2x plus 2 in place of x plus 2 we have written this and it's divided by square root of x squared minus one. Now we can split this in two parts, the first part by denominator and then two by denominator. So this question can be written now, one by two being constant can be taken out of this uh, integral sign and you will have 2x divided by square root of x squared minus one and uh, plus integration of two by under root of x squared minus one dx. Just like uh, this constant one by two, we can write this two also outside outside the integral sign being constant and then this question would look like this what next you see in the first part i can okay if i represent this question by i let's say this i is equal to hold this question right then our i can be written as i is equal to one by two times i1 i1 is this part and plus two i2 plus to i2. Now we can integrate both these uh, two parts. In the part one, I mean in i1 part, so to solve i1, which is, is equal to integration of 2x divided by square root of x square minus one. As you see the derivative of the function inside the square root in denominator is the numerator. So it makes sense to put x squared minus one as t, you put x squared minus one is equal to t. That will give you two x dx is equal to dt. Yes, two x dx equal to dt. And uh, your i1 should look like, now let's write this i1 here. i1 will be equal to dt by square root of t. Now, this means it t, square root t means t to power half taken into numerator that become t to power negative half. And uh, using the formula of uh, x to power n integration, it becomes t to power half plus one, that is t to power half divided by negative half plus one. So negative half, half plus one is half, positive half, so you get two t to power, plus c of course, plus c. So two t to power half plus c 
means we are getting two square root t plus, since this is i1, let's say the constant is c1, okay, c1. Now two root t plus c1, so our i1 is equal to two times, we will retain the value of t, which is uh, x squared minus one plus c1. So we get the value of uh, i1, right? i1 is this. In the same manner, we will get the value of uh, i2, and then we will, okay, let's, let's get the i2 here in this area. So to get I2, we are now taking this function. I2 is this, this part, isn't it? So I2 means, that's right here. Now we are finding I2 is equal to integration of one over square root X squared minus A squared. Now that is a particular formula. In place of a, we have uh, one, so x squared minus one squared. And uh, this can be written as log of x plus, the question as it is, x squared minus one. So this is the formula we're directly applying, and plus c2. So we got the value of i1 and i2. Finally, see, this is here. This value over here was I1. Okay, this value over here is I2. Okay, so now we want to write. I will, I'll just take, uh, get some space over here. I'm just, I1 and I2, I want to put this value to write final answer. Okay, so this is, I hope you have written all this. Now our, uh, I would look like our I would be equal to half of I1 means two times under root X square minus one, two times under root X square minus one and uh, plus C1. So half time and plus C1, okay. And plus two times, let's uh, Yes, so I2 is log of, log of what X plus under root of X squared minus one, what closed plus C2, no problem. We are simply uh, placing the value of I1 and I2 in this. And, uh, now we can open the bracket and write our final answer. Yes, in terms of like, we want to represent this answer in just one constant, no? C1, C2. Instead of C1, C2, we want to write in one constant. So this is going to be half time two means that is simply square root of X square minus one plus two times we will take the constant at last, all right? Two time log modulus of x plus square root of x square minus one plus, look, this is half c1 and this is c2, half c1 plus two c2, isn't it? When you open the bracket, this two should be multiplied with c2 also, this half should be multiplied with c1 also, isn't it? So, but this is, constant. So we can write C in this place, right? Our final answer would look like I is equal to square root of X square minus one plus two times log of X plus under root of X squared minus one plus C, where C is this, right? where you can write, where C is this uh, quantity written inside the box. All right, thank you for now.